Okay, so we're here, we're on the top uh, of the corduroy trestle, where the corduroy trestle would have ended, uh, and then the grade would have continued southward towards Crab Lake. In front of me here, in the background, you can see Gunflint Lake, and the grade would have stretched northward here and then turned towards the east, towards camp number four. And so we're gonna make our way up along the remainder of the grade here. You can see that it's extremely steep. This area, the grade would have been over 10%. And it necessitated the use of a Shea locomotive to haul the log cars down the grade and haul the empties back up. So as we make our way up here, the sound that you hear in the background, the running water, is a very, very beautiful little waterfall called Bridal Falls. And you can see a little branch of it spilling over here. The main part of the falls is just to the west here, just a few meters in that direction. And so here you can see, we now start leaving the embankment, the slope here, and then we actually start getting into where they actually did rock work. So they actually cut into the top of this ridge. This rock cut was constructed during the winter of 1904 into 1905. It was probably completed around March of 1905. You can hear Bridal Falls running much better here. You can see part of the waterfall here. And so you can see the rock cut here. It's been a fairly wet fall. And so you can see there is quite a bit of water flowing down the old grade here. You'll also notice that it continues to climb. Again, this ridge sits over 200 feet above the level of Gunflint Lake, which necessitated this very, very steep grade. This is certainly the most pronounced section of the rock cut. as we near the top of the ridge here. You can see it is quite pretty with all of the cedars and the moss growing on the trees. The height of the cut here is probably 20 feet or more. And so here the cut begins to peter out. If we turn back towards the north, you can see the incline that we just came up. And as the rock cut comes to an end here, we eventually make our way out into the open. and eventually come alongside the Crab River, which the railway grade follows for quite a distance here until it actually reaches Crab Lake and then turns back to the east.